morning, sir. Good morning, Henry. What time did I get in last night? Exactly, 2.22 this morning, sir. Bad, very, very bad. I should have what you uh, call better sense. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, keeping late hours is very bad for the health, sir. Oh. Will you have your breakfast now, sir? Don't even talk about food. Not even a cup of black coffee, sir. Uh, coffee? Yes, uh, coffee. Yes. Henry, see who that is. If it's a bill collector, tell him I'm out of town. If it's a lady, uh, tell her that I've gone to, uh, to Europe. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Henry, Henry, Europe is too near. Uh, tell her that I've gone to uh, 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 China. 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 Yes, sir. Telegram, sir. Henry, Henry. Yes, sir. Call Mr. Reynolds on the telephone and tell him that I must see him today. Yes, sir. Come in. Well, a fine mess you guys have got yourselves into. I'm sorry. Oh, Bob. shut up. Every time I let you birds handle a job by yourselves, you go and gum it up. Well, I'll do all I can to get you out of it. But listen, it's going to cost you every dime of your cut on the next job that we do. Now, get that. Have a heart. Hello? Hello. Cardigan. Henry. Oh, hello, Henry. What's on your mind? Listen, Jones just got a wire from the higher-ups. They want that plane of Reynolds. Fine. What's he doing about it? Dunno. He just told me to call Reynolds and get him up here today. That's great. He's playing right into my hands. You tell Jones that Reynolds will call to see him at uh, about uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon. Okay. I'll phone Reynolds. You do what? Phone Reynolds. You said to. I said nothing of the kind. Now get this. You tell Jones Reynolds will call to see him at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And you leave Reynolds to... Oh. <coughs> Mr. Reynolds said he would call here today, sir, at 2 o'clock, in person. Wonderful! That's just what I wanted. Uh, have my breakfast sent up right away. I feel much better. Yes, sir. Are sure you made this appointment for two o'clock? Quite sure, sir. There he is now. Henry! What is the matter? Go, open the door. Yes, sir. I want to see Mr. Jones. Uh, have you an appointment, sir? I said I want to see Mr. Jones. Uh, yes, sir. A gentleman insists on seeing you, sir. What? Mr. Jones, my name is Cardigan. I understand that you're interested in an aircraft designed by the famous Mr. Reynolds. Uh, that, that's all, Henry. But, uh, uh, I... How do you know? Uh, I'm expecting Mr. Reynolds here. Yes, I know. I was with Mr. Reynolds when your man called. And frankly, Mr. Jones, Reynolds is not a bit interested in your proposition. Are you sure of that? I'm positive. You know, he's a pretty hard man to do business with. Mm, I know. But uh, this time I mean real business, uh, money. That gives me an idea. You know, I've been thinking that I might be able to swing that deal for you. You mean... I mean that Mr. Reynolds is a very good friend of mine. And if he thought I was buying that ship for myself, that might make a difference. Mm. Sit down. Uh, let's talk this thing over. Are you sure you can do this for me? Well, I don't guarantee anything. But, uh, suppose I should deliver those blueprints to you. What would that be worth? $5,000? At least. Not one penny less. Agreed. 
And suppose I found myself in a position to deliver that ship to you personally. What would that be worth? Another $5,000? Agreed, my friend. $5,000 is a lot of money for a set of untried plans. I see it's a lot of money, Mr. Reynolds. Uh, let me see. Five-inch clearance. That allows me... Mm. Well, maybe I could raise it a bit. Would six interest you? Six what? Six what? Six thousand dollars. For what? For a... Now look here, I'm no man's fool. Uh, whose fool are you, Cardigan? I'm offering you a legitimate business proposition. You've invented a plane. Something new, and you think it's good. Well, maybe it is. And I'm offering you... A... Seven thousand dollars. Right. Wrong. No, Cardigan. I wouldn't take seven or seventy. Not bad. Two hours and fifteen minutes. Yeah. Listen, Al, do me a favor. Forget those, uh, dives, will you? <laughs> you can't take it, can you? <laughs> no, I can't take it. Oh, you'll get used to it. Well, if it isn't my old friend, Gene Reynolds. In the flesh. Well, what do you know? I haven't seen you in ages. Easy on the ages, partner. Remember, you're talking to a woman. Then suppose we start all over. Don't let me stop you. Thank you. Well, here it goes. Well, if it isn't my old friend... Choke yourself. Oh, I forgot to tell you, uh, the uh, top layer is poisoned. Oh, I don't mind. I just dote on poison candy. Oh, <laughs> you do, huh? Hi, hey, yo, boy. Hey, come here. I got a new one for you. Boy, this will kill you. Now, watch me very closely. Very closely, look. Focus, 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 focus. Yeah. I got to say that twice. See, that makes it harder. See? <laughs> see? Now, I put it in my hand like that, see? And I hold it like this. Now, one, two, and here it is. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Well, that's perfect, boy. I learned that up in Sacramento. Sacramento? Oh, a lot of clever people out there, see? Now, the hardest part comes in. Now, the hardest part. Look, I make it disappear. It goes right out, disappear. Watch. Show me. I work. Still there, see? Now, first I put it in this hand. Still in here, don't worry. Still in here. And then in this hand, and... Uh, so I rub it right into my hands, see, right into the hands, see, right in the flesh, boy. And there, gone. <laughs> That's great, boy. <laughs> great, I should say it is. Yes, Look, sir. Nothing, nothing up the sleeve, see? Oh. Nothing up the sleeve. <laughs> I, uh... Uh, oh, I got another one. I got another one. Yeah, just, 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 <laughs> I see have... it. Huh? huh? A new one? Yeah, a new. <clears throat> uh, say, uh, kind of warm, isn't it? I don't feel the heat. Oh? How about a new trick? Oh, yeah, the trick. That's yes, right. I did trick. The, uh, mm, uh, say, do you smell something burning around here? I do. You do? Yes. What is it? I would... 
Well, how about the stretch here, boy? Yeah, please. <laughs> What are you thinking by crates? Well, for a pig iron carrier, pretty good. Listen, wise guy. It's the pig iron that brings home the bacon. Pig iron? Bacon? My, my. And you figured that up out of your own mind. Right out of here. I think maybe you should write a book on the ivory industry. You could probably figure that up out of your own mind. There'll be enough of that. Have a piece of candy? Why not? Because my money is bought them. Four hundred dollars worth of freight today. Not bad, huh? Mm. What'd you find of stuff, too? Yeah, yeah I'll tell you a funny one. Out in San Francisco. They're... Very interesting. Now, I'll ask you a few questions. Do you still love me as much as you say you do? No. <laughs> is that so? Another woman. Mm. Well, just for that. <laughs> so you want to get rough, huh? What? No, Please, no, no, no. Hell. So, is he back again, huh? Come on over. Now, if I'm willing to put my money on the dotted line, I expect you to talk business. Why, I'm the first man in the transportation game that's made you an offer. Have a caramel. A what? Caramel. Swell. She made them. Well, now, that sort of makes a difference, doesn't it? <laughs> Good, huh? Have another. Hmm. Take a dark one, they're the best. Now, what's the word of it? Sorry, I had to do it. Otherwise, you'd not talk to me. Now, get this. Come around here and bother Mr. Reynolds again. I'll suck you so hard you wear yourself out rolling. Now, get out. Get out. Sorry you did that, Hal. He's a bad man to deal with. Just a mug. That's right, just a mug. But he happens to be a very influential man around here, and it might cost you your job. In that case, I'll come work for you. <laughs> for which you wouldn't get one red cent. I'll marry your daughter, and she'll support me. <laughs> See how quick I figured that out? I still think you should write the story on the ivory industry. <laughs> Says you. You set up there and behave. <laughs> Let's see. see here, Hal. Huh? Now, you were talking to me the other day about this. Al, listen. Get the boys together and come to the Reynolds airport. I'll meet you on the highway. Okay, boss. When? All right, we'll be on right away. Hmm. And the people up north, huh? Yes, good company. Fine. Uh, I wish you weren't working for that freight outfit. Somebody's got to try the train out, and it must be somebody I can trust. I'm not. You're not what? Oh, you keep out of it, I'll. I quit him five minutes ago. Oh, don't be foolish, boy. You've got a job. Mine's only a gamble. Not too much of a gamble for me. I'll take off for a spin. Well. No. Oh, you're not going with me. Why not? No, no, you stay Please. here. Come on. Oh. Will you behave? Come on, oh. boy. Bring home the bacon, Mr. Pig Iron. Okay, Miss Lollipop. For you, anything. Oh, Hal, before you... I want to show you how this fin works. Hmm. 
now. Yes. With this on, it ought to be 100% safer, Hal. Mm -hmm. I want you to give it a good try on. Yes, I'll take it. Good. Why, you dumb cluck! Can't you keep your hands over things that you don't know anything about? Now get out. Get out? I thought you said we were, we were going to take up this plane. We? Before I lose my temper. All right, all right. I stopped it anyhow. Come on, give me a lift. Started itself. It was just that troublesome Bertie. Why, I've heard Hal tell him a dozen times not to try to start the motor. Well, he did start it. Hey, Al, can I go too? like that. He hasn't a parachute or anything.
<laughs> you ought to have a good punch in the nose, scaring us like that. You weren't half as scared as I was. You mean <laughs> she wouldn't perform? Well, uh, she acted kind of nasty, Mr. Reynolds. Why, what was the trouble? Well, uh, let's go to the office and I'll show you. All right. Listen, you. Don't you ever squeeze me like that again. I much prefer to have it this way. <laughs> <laughs> Now, boys, I don't want any slip-ups. Abe, you and Pete get the plane. Okay, Chief. And I'll get those blueprints. And Duffy, you know what you've got to do. Right. I'll give you a signal. Let's go. Come on, let's get going. Stand by, boys. You have 516. Mm -hmm. Now, if you would cut that down a little bit, I believe you stabilize a little better. You think so? I'm quite positive. Evidently, you have a very short memory. Sometimes I have. What does he want this time? Well, I just thought I'd come back here and close a deal with my friend, Mr. Reynolds. Better think again. I have thought. Here, 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 Cardigan. That's what enough. do you mean? See here, Cardigan. What do you mean? Get out of the way. You can't do that. Give me those plans. In here. Plenty. Silver Wings has been stolen oh. and the blueprints with it and Hal's gone and... Why? Look, this is Cardigan's address. Hal's been looking for it. Yes. Bertie, find her. Give him that. Leave it to me. I'll find yes. him. Oh, I hope so.
this one, too. I'll tell you that. Oh, Come I've on, got boy. something for you. Wait a minute. Look what I found. Here. Cardigan's address is on it. Just the thing. We're heading for Chinatown. Come on, boys. Cardigan and tell him we've arrived. It's just a few miles to the highway. Let's take the car. One nineteen. That's it. Ah, uh, but this is China. I'll find out. Hello. Hmm. You are being called, yeah. <laughs> I guess the guy don't know you. Oh, this is a fine time to be clowning. I couldn't be serious. I think you're barking up the wrong tree. You better keep your eye on those two fellows. Give me Washington, 1246. Well, hello, Jones. This is Cardigan. Hello, Mr. Cardigan. Were you successful? Was I successful? Listen, if you're not too busy, come on over and I'll tell you about it. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to bring that money. <laughs> I come right over. Right. Goodbye. following us.
You're on the wrong roof. This side, right here. Friend, you got this thing all wrong. It was just a little slip-up. The boys got there sooner than we expected. But we got everything you wanted. And here are those plans. Wonderful. Sorprendent. But the plane. Hello? Yeah, hello, Abe. You got it all right? Say, that's fine. Yeah? We'll get a car and come right out there. Well, the boys got the ship for you. Where is it? They've hidden it in a deserted airport way out in the desert. And it's the safest place in the world.
You should have a little more help. So, I've got a streak of yellow down my back a yard wide, have I? No. I'm sorry I made a mistake, Mr. Corrigan. It's two yards wide. Well, you... Well, we're going to give you a chance to see what an iron man you are. Take him down to the yellow room, boys. And give him the works. <laughs> you. Let me out of what is the meaning of this? Nothing important. Just a little misunderstanding. Oh, uh, here's your plans. I think we'd better go down and take a look at that ship, huh? Very good idea. Get lost, somebody. We'll live back in a little while. Oh, Let me out! Come back here! This ought to be a slow party. Yeah, I think our friend will like it. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go.
How did you get out of here? Never mind how I got out. We better get out before we look like a Chinese puzzle. Bring my ship out and make it snappy. I'm going over to the house. Hi, Lou. Yes, I know where the... Where? They've taken it to the old airport in the desert. I know where that is. You do? Hey, Al! Let's get going! Okay. Oh, Harry, before you go, take this. I won't use that at all. <laughs> oh, can't I go with you? No, you stay right here and take good care of Dad. I'll be back as quick as I can. Do be careful. Yes. These fellows. These are the boys that got the ship for you. <laughs> Wonder who that bird is. I don't know, but we'll soon find out. How do you like it? Beautiful. Well. Are you Mr. Reynolds? Yes, I'm Mr. Reynolds. Who are you? Just a minute. What do you want? Oh, Barnes, Secret Service. I beg your pardon, sir. You know anything about a fellow named Cardigan? Cardigan? I'd like to lay my hands on him. We haven't been able to lay hands on him ourselves, but we got the goods on him this time. Do you know where I can find him? Why, I... I think I do, but we'll have to use your ship. Fine, come on. I'll be right with you. Don't worry, boys. This isn't the payoff. Yeah, I was just thinking. All in a day's work, my friend. Hey, there it is. What is this? Who that is? Pete! Yes, sir, boss. That's Foster ship. You know what to do with him. Okay, boss. Come on, Abe, let's go. Trouble? No, not much.
anything going to happen? Sure, they're going to start kissing in a minute. Which one of you men are caught again? There's your man. All right, I've been looking for you for a oh, long hell. time. Oh, <laughs> hell. Are you all right? Sure enough. Where's the ship? Over there. Oh, Dad'll be so happy. Well, I'm glad. Hey, you got... Wait a minute! <laughs> look at him! <laughs> look. Oh, Take him along, too. Fine. Come on. Oh, that Puppy. was nothing. That was a cinch. <laughs> Mr. Pig Iron, here's the bacon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>